that we were focused on making sure that we did everything we can could to protect them. In the aftermath, what became clear was that the security was lax. And it goes on, uh, Bill O'Reilly's interview with President Obama before the Super Bowl. You can see more of that interview, by the way, tonight. Another 12 minutes with Bill O'Reilly starting at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, on Benghazi, it does con contradict some of the Senate intelligence report uh, run, of course, by Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein. Houston, a lot uh, of people push back and say, to use a phrase, what difference does it make now? Mm -hmm. um, what about that thinking and the reporting on this? Well, I think the reporting is important, and I, I don't understand why the administration can't just tell the truth about this, and that they keep saying things that, um, as George just pointed out, we, we know aren't true, and we know aren't true from sort of unbiased sources. I mean, the Senate Intelligence Report is not, you know, Fox News. He wants to blame Fox News for everything. It's not Fox News. You have people, you know, reasonable people thinking that this is not what happened. Um, I also thought it was interesting that he's talking about why couldn't he just answer Bill's question? You know, Bill just kept asking him, what were you told? And he never really would answer the question. And, and then he turns around and says, well, we were just focused on getting people safe. Well, of course you were. But weren't you also a little curious if it was a terrorist attack? You know, and, and so, so none of this really adds up. And it's just, it's so frustrating every time we have to hear as rhetorical cotton candy, perfect way to describe it. Now